get massive by the way. Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I just want to say thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for watching. It means so much and I do really appreciate it. In today's video I'm going to do something a little bit different in a sense that I'm going to review a podcast I've recently got into and I've just been recommending so many times. I want to break down five key areas I've learned from this podcast, how it's helped me in my life, how I think it can help you and I genuinely do think that it will help you to improve your life, help you to become more mindful and it's all based in science which I really really enjoy. The podcast in question is the Andrew Huberman podcast which is called the Huberman Lab podcast. In the podcast he talks about various different things and I like how he formats it so he will do it on a monthly basis where he'll just take one subject so for the first month it was all on sleep so he did four episodes all based around sleep different things how to get better sleep what you can do to set your circadian clock all different things like that so I didn't think I'd like this at first but I really do enjoy it and I think you get really into it and you really look forward to the next episode so uh, yeah it, it might be something that I look to do in the future but yeah genuinely like this format of podcast episodes and the reason I want to do this and talk about it is because I want uh, I think more people would benefit from listening to this podcast I've recommended it to so many of my friends and yeah genuinely do think it has helped me to improve my life so the five things that I think has helped me with are sunlight first thing in the morning breathing techniques to alter the mood Workout and best practices for hydropathy, hydropathy, <laughs> muscle building, basically. Book recommendations and control over your body. First one was in the one of the first podcast episodes because it's all about sleep and it's all about how by going out in the morning and getting direct sunlight whether even if it's cloudy you still get more light than you would from like an artificial light how this sets your circadian clock and basically starts the motion into uh when you will feel sleepy in the evening it doesn't necessarily like bring you an immediate effect by doing this you're then setting into motion the sleep time that you will then start to feel sleepy within the evening. This has just helped loads. I, I genuinely don't think it's a placebo effect. I make it a routine now to either go and stand outside or I'll go for a walk and listen to a podcast and do whatever. No sunglasses and no hat, because I tend to wear a hat quite a lot, but yeah, just going out and uh, viewing the sunlight and getting it in my eyes for around 10 to 30 minutes. Um, depends on how bright it is. If you live in the UK like me, then you might need to go out a little bit longer. It all depends, but I highly recommend this. And I, yeah, I'll link the podcast episode that it's from in the comments below. So this will be number one, morning light first thing. Number two is breathing technique. I'm sure you've all heard of Wim Hof and the different breathing techniques that you can do. Um, it's apparently called Tumo breathing, which is like an ancient thing that people used to do. And I like in the podcast how he breaks down different ways to alter your mood based on your breathing. So you're not just necessarily doing breathing techniques. There's like the, I think it's called the exaggerated sigh where you do a breath in. So, so you do that, yeah, that. So when you do the double inhale, it reinflates any of these little sacs that have collapsed. And in doing so, it allows you to offload more carbon dioxide. So if you're feeling stressed in any circumstance, inhale twice through the nose, and then exhale long through the mouth. How this essentially works is you're filling up your lungs, but then you're like adding a little bit more capacity to it. And then you're breathing all out. So you're essentially getting more oxygen in than you're letting go of carbon dioxide. If you've ever fallen asleep, you might might have done this. Or if you've ever been crying and you know that, like that, that breathing that you do. So your body does it instinctively. It's that... <laughs> No, uh, yeah, I can just imagine Bella doing it though. <laughs> that is, yeah, to get more oxygen with inside the body. So if you can, if you need to calm down, that technique really, really helps. I'm gonna, um, I'll include the link episode below so you can fully understand breathing techniques, but there's way to increase your 
adrenaline. Um, if you need to say get something really focused done, you can do certain breathing techniques. I'm not going to go into it because I can't remember it specifically, but yeah. And then if you need to calm down, there's a, a sort of the other way to it. So it's like it's all about like breathing, holding, breathing, and then but like. The, Maybe you breathe in longer than you hold and then you let go shorter. So it all has different effects But I'll, again, I'll link the podcast below so you can go and check it out for yourself But that one sigh if you ever need to calm down So say you've had like a really stressful client home phone call or you, you Yeah, just someone it's just really pissed you off do that. It will help really really well um, it, it, yeah, it's a free tool that you can easily calm down like that. So why not use it? It's workout and best practices for hy hypertrophy. Hypertrophy. Can't say that word. But basically, yeah, muscle muscle growth and muscle build. So, yeah. so I'm not going to go too far into this because one, I've only just started recently working out properly. It's something that I'm still learning, but it's definitely something that I want to do more of. <laughs> but I, I just like how... So say for example, you want to build muscle and you want to also do endurance work. So I, I go to the gym and I swim. They talk about how like, if you want to more of the focus on building muscle, then you want to do more muscle building, but you also want to incorporate the endurance exercise within your routine. So then you can switch it up and then go maybe do three days endurance and two days weight training. And this will just help to keep your body on edge. Another thing that was really, really useful is how to maximize your reps. And um, I really like this study because it's something that everyone can do and it's something really, really simple. And that is basically calling the palm of your hands or the bottom of your feet. Um, and this is the quickest way to call your core in a body temperature. I don't know how it works, but again, if you listen to the podcast episode, he will explain all of this to you in science format so you can understand it. But it basically um, has something to do with the, yeah, the way the, the nerves work within your hands. And so, yeah, holding onto a cool bar or putting your hands in cool ice, not necessarily ice, but cool water, whilst you're doing your sets will help you to get more reps from each set. Um, and I, yeah, something so simple that you can do and you can implement into your life to help you do more. Which yeah, everyone wants that pill. Everyone wants the the magic formula. But it's it, half the time it's just doing the work and then maximizing what you can do is is the way that you get results in any area of your life. So. Yeah, that's why I really like this podcast. The book recommendations. I didn't think that I would get book recommendations from this, but one of them is actually this book called What is Colour? Um, I really like that book, and i tell you why. It's because I'm a designer, so I think, yeah, just, just in terms of like how we see colour, how we visualise it, how um, colour contrast works, and how, yeah, different things work. But... That was one book recommendation that he recommended. Another one was The Molecule of More, which is all about dopamine. And I really, really enjoyed that book. Uh, I listened to it on audio and it, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get the, the paperback version just because I think I can take more in. It's a fascinating molecule and I think we need it, but it gets demonized too much. And I think I was, I was one to demonize it, but I think it's good in, getting you to be motivated to go to the gym, getting you to mo motivate you to start a business. It's it's needed, but I think, yeah, it's demonized because of social media and gambling and all of these bad habits that we do, which are dopamine induced, but it just comes down to how can we leverage that dopamine so it gives us the right trajectory, really. The control over your body. I think we live in a society where we are taught and it's ingrained in us that we don't have control over our body in the sense that, I don't know, yeah, it's just never really taught at school. I, I don't know if that's been different for you if you are watching this from around the world, but very much seen that like life happens to you, whereas listening to this podcast and hearing it from a science-based background, steeped in like sort of results and uh, research and studies, it, it gives you how you actually have control over your body, how you can control your dopamine levels, how you can control your serotonin levels, how you can increase muscle weight, how you can control your breathing to calm down, how you can, yeah, like improve your sleep. And it's all backed in science and it 
we have so much control over our bodies, but we, we just don't, half the time it's probably, we're just playing blind and we don't want to, but I think there's a beauty in that, that we do have control over our bodies and we can control when we sleep, how long we sleep for, stress, all the aspects in our life. Again, I'm gonna link all of these below. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This is like a different kind of style. Normally I know people do like book reviews and stuff, but I thought I'd make a podcast review because I really do enjoy this podcast and I think people would enjoy it and they would get so much from it. So take a listen. I'm gonna link every single one below. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna say thank you for subscribing if you have already. If you haven't, please consider just down below. That would mean so much. Have a great day and remember, yeah, you have control over your body. Keep going, keep doing it. Oh.